Okay, so. Oh, that's right. I gotta do the, the intro. How could I forget? Uh, hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. Okay, so... Alright, let me see here. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm killing these kids. Alright, so, there we go. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. Okay. Alright. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. There's the official thing. Today we are doing, as in the previous video only, today we're basically tending to the farm. We're making it bigger. Yeah, we're making it bigger. We're adding to, adding a tree farm. We're moving the sugar cane to another location around the farm. As this is a pretty massive, and you know, wants a massively big one in case, you know, shit happens and we're having to provide for the max amount of players you can have in a Minecraft world, which I think is 10. This, uh, this thing all started out where the sugar cane is at, and then it, as you notice, it's progressed over this way. And there's more being added over here as well. I am adding, gonna be adding, taking out all this right here and making this one row, nothing but. Um, potatoes, the other side will be nothing but carrots. And they broke fire. Nice. As you can see, Daycashman1 is in the party. He's the only one there. It's not, we're on Edie Noe's world. Edie Noe is gone and he's went to pick up his mother from work. Which will be back in a while. Um, the most extensive thing I think we're doing today is just adding on to the farm, making it bigger. As you can see, I don't know if this was in the last video, but Scumpy came along in the brand new parts that I made and added animals into everything. We got sheep, we got uh, ducks, or ducks, chickens and pigs over here. Um, and these two, I'm pretty sure I'm going to leave the doors open. I'm just going to go ahead and add in more carrots in there. Um, I prefer ca carrots over potatoes as carrots are the only thing that... And carrots and wheat are the only thing that doesn't give out sugar cane. Unless you can't make very much potatoes. As you can see, we just had a dog over there slay that sheep and he left some wool. Hmm. Now, as you can see, you can still see way up there, over there, or up in the top right hand corner of my screen that place Marco miscounted when he was trying to build this house or his sky house. And, you know, we were fucking around that one day. It just ended up. He just ended up lo losing that. We got some raw mutton here. We got a dead doggy as well. Some XP out of him. Um, I have too much in my inventory. I'm adding right now to my getting wood to build, continue, continuing to build the fences. But I'm also going to talk to everybody about what um, what is going to go down. And possibly you may see it in the next video. So, for a few days ago, I uploaded nothing but, um, well, actually yesterday and days before yesterday, uploaded nothing but um, Homefront. Homefront, the revolution, this and that. And now finally, I've gotten to the end of that. How um, big are these? Too wide, too wide? Okay. I'm going to make it three wide because if it's too wide, then a creeper can just like walk up right here and go, shit, boom. Thank you. 
Anyway, I decided today to do a Minecraft video since, you know, we were all having to be online and I was about the only one that I could get on in Minecraft. Um, all this right here, I'm going to try to fill it all in. So basically you come, the fencing will go up to around here and all you have to do is walk through the fencing, walk up the stairs and over. Coming down this little pathway right here and all the way over and you got into the house. The farm will continue on over there. We'll get rid of those trees. We'll find a new location for trees. Grant Katrina Lisa. That is some weird person. She has a Twitter though. Yeah. She always tweeting people. Oh man, I am tired. Alright, so next possible thing is I boy I pretty sure I talked about this also in previous videos. Gotta get rid of that ugly glass over there. Probably go do that now. But I've also talked about leveling most of this and building somewhat of a farm in this area. Just continuing to expand and adding, you know, another building perhaps. Maybe even making something that goes far underground where you can put stuff. I've also thought about making a, um, an automatic farm. Hmm, man. Thought about making an automatic farm that goes underground. You can do a lot underneath there. Um. Okay, really? Really? Can we, can we get this? Okay, there we go. Thought about making that underground farm so we could just, you know, flip a switch up here. And the next thing you know, you just have it all. But we need sticky pistons and just a lot. And uh, none of us are very good at redstone. So it would definitely take a lot to get it all done. Um, I'm not sure where I'm going to go to get a bunch of dirt from. Pretty sure we'll just take out that little thing over there and whatever I see else. Continue on from there. Alright, so we begin with probably continuing and closing this little area off up to around here so we can just continue the back-to-back -back building of everything. This is the little um, pool area that I got so I can grab water from. I got cows for milk. I can make a cake. You have everything needed to make a cake. Okay, so what have we got on the time? Okay, it's getting dark out soon. So now that it's going to be getting dark soon, we'll go through. We'll take these torches out. I'm going to place them around as like we do with the other everything else. Alright, so put that down there, put this one here. Um, I already have 15 fence posts, that's cool. Okay, so we'll expand this by adding this here, right there, we'll go over. that's planned out you can see as we have everything now well designed and all we have to do now is just connect them back to back and build the uh, the rest of the fence layer um, I don't have any more dirt so we're just gonna borrow some dirt from this unwanted location right here pretty much gonna level just about everything around here but let's level with my house so I can have a Pretty nice area. With the dirt I get around here, I should be able to flatten out this small little area right here. And continue building. Just for everybody to know and clarify that the torches around here may cause light, but I also use them because I because in the original days of Minecraft they used to help with growing when the sun wasn't up. But uh, nowadays they don't. Sorry about that. 
I seem to all of a sudden have an issue with the yawning, and I just can't stop yawning. And it's becoming extensively annoying. Um, I'm gonna put this in here. That, 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 that. Uh, that, this diamond. Um, uh, I'm gonna put these bones, this wool, or gunpowder. Okay, there we go. Alright, so now that we have everything placed out over there the way we want it, we're going to go ahead and just connect everything here. Um, I think we'll do it like this. Yeah, there we go. That'll be the way you access the farm for now. You have this big open area back here, but this is going to be extending off this direction more. It's 276. Hey, yo. Gonna be, it's going to be expanding off this direction with only two because there's just this little drop off over there. But I might be expanding that so it's all around so I don't have to worry about things coming up this way. Putting back to back, might after back to back run a little pathway back here to get up to the new parts mm -hmm. that'll be running back to back here. It'll be going around. So roughly what I see is just massive expansions, a lot of work that needs to be done. Gosh, I hate this yawning issue, man. You didn't know it should be back here in like 20 minutes. I'm assuming that as soon after we get everything done and added up, he'll probably be, probably be back. How do we have that added there? Holy shit, here comes a nigger. Nobody heard that. God, yeah, nobody heard that. That was uh, that was bad. Oh, oh, woo! Fuck out of here. Go away. Shoo. Yeah, ha, that's right. Get over there. See, I don't have any armor, so that thing looked pretty pissed off. Could have dragged it in the eating house place. What's with you? Can you, like, get the fuck out of my farm? Piece of shit? Get the fuck out of here. Hey, fuck you. You look what you made me do. Yeah, get out of here, bro. Is that not creepy? <laughs> Holy cow, I recognized it when I was sitting over there. When I was just standing over here in this corner. Um, quick little lesson for anybody listening. Um, usually my go-to words are usually probably profanity and not probably the best thing to go to. I am working on that. But, um, uh, that, that, oh. Just sitting in the grass. Out of here, man. Where'd that creeper go? Woo! Ah! Oh, well. Well, actually, I think there's dirt back there. Holy cow, man, that that Enderman was uh, creepy. Thank you for the dirt. I'll use this later. Enderman was indeed, indeed, indeed creepy. How much time we got until this is over? Nah, get like five minutes. All right, so you can see there, uh, where's my hoe at? There it is. Okay, so we're gonna start by bringing this, these carrots over to the other side. Um, maybe later, actually. You start by mining all this. This is probably really cool. 
That there is the reason why I have gates and fence posts. Because of mobs like that that just like to walk in and help themselves. Oh my god. I'm, I'm, re I'm really about to kill somebody. That's why we have potatoes. So we can save here just, you know, half a chunk of health go up so we can regenerate health. I want to be straight up honest. That sounds like the longest fart ever. Like the longest, creepiest fart when you're sitting inside the stool and it makes like it echoes through the stool. It's that long, creepy fart. Well, you see, I would go assault the Enderman over there, but you know, he's got he's got pals. His pals are floating around. Yes, for that. Oh, see, there's one up there on the. Uh, Well, yes, that there is why I have a bunch of fence posts and lamps all around so they don't spawn here. And if they do spawn here, they end up spawning like in this little area right here, which gives me a good insight to where they're going to be at. Sooner or later, I'm going to take these fence posts down. I'm going to expand them out this way so we don't, we don't have this going on right here. And we can connect it to that next part over there, so I can just like walk down here and go over and I'm there. Woo! Yippee. Okay, finally, finally, the despawn gives us plenty of time to continue building fence posts and all that. I'm gonna come over here and steal my blocks. Like most of them do. They just show up and they're like, oh, look, a block. We're just gonna take this, we're gonna borrow this. I'm oh, sorry, bring it back later. And then they never bring it back. Uh, we need dirt. There you go. I might honestly see where is. Okay, everything's level to this block. So, try to keep it that way. Oh, man. Really go for a nap. That, we'll lock it away. We'll lock it just like that. There we go. Okay. There we go. Okay, so everything now is logged away. We can begin building back on this long little thing of stretch right here. It leaves us with a pretty small window, so no more Endermen will be breaking in anytime soon. Alright, so let's see what else. Um, we're going to need to mine a hole right here. Um, by the way, for all you people out there that think sugar or wheat requires long, long rows of, uh, water to grow, that is not the case. Not in the old days, anyway. Recently, in, well, actually, probably at least five, six updates ago for Minecraft, um, on the 360 years, they had more updates. But on these Xbox One days, since it came out on Xbox One, not very many updates have came out. Not usually, since they all just cram it in one big file and send it off. So, most updates on the Xbox One end up being like 7.1 gigabytes or higher. They're not like that 1.2 gigabytes that your Xbox 360 takes forever to download. The Xbox One updates are pretty long, though. They're like, they download pretty fast, but then comes the installing stage, which usually takes forever. Depending on how big your system is and how big your files are, 
from a console hard reset, it usually takes a while after that as well. I'm not gonna build anything there. Grab some good quality wood right now. Let that die off. hole you see off to the right here this was original I, th I don't think I had it on video but a creeper did explode on one point and destroy half the side of the farm um, I have indeed in the past thought about expanding out this way farther more but then I was like no way because it takes long enough and in fact eventually it's going to be expanded out after this is this big slab is of dirt is taken out I can just expand it outwards outwards put it back to back to each other keep going but it'll it'll take more than just a little bit like a it'll take a long time to take all that out and given we're not on minecraft much anymore since since the release of black ops we've been on that more so we've been on zombies more Try to get more videos out there for zombies and things like that, but oftentimes we're goofing around. Really, pretty much. So, I'm not sure about you guys, but I'm pretty hyped about this year's E3 as they're going to be talking about the GTA 5 update, making announcements for a DLC for GTA, and all these big things that I seem like are going to be great. They're going to be talking about new games such as like ReCore and things like that. That's a great game that I've seen that was at last year's E3 in the summer, but wouldn't come out until this um, this year sometime. Uh, Halo Wars 2. Oh my god, guys, that comes out soon. Like Literally, we're less than halfway to that mark of getting Halo Wars 2. It comes out in November. I think I'm going to relocate this. Gumpy originally created this piece of shit right here. I think I'm going to relocate it. Probably gonna take it and put it over here. The four blocks right here. Yeah, okay. Okay, so what are we doing besides walking around being an idiot? Up and down. Alright, so we're gonna go over here, we're gonna go over here, we're gonna click on this a little bit. Uh, okay, thank you. Don't click that. Okay, that should be enough to take that. We'll grab this bucket of water so we can go ahead and start putting crops in these positions down over here As you can see that looks pretty interesting I didn't do much um, water helps crops grow like you can just take it like this but crops will grow a lot slower unless there's water and water only goes so far out you can tell when the patches turn different colors after I do all this that there is water it picks up water like they all don't turn at the same time though see there's one right there these this shows that the soil is now wet and the plant can grow faster it's usually like sometimes after i freshly plant these things you already got them growing kind of like that right there they've been planted very long and they're growing they only some of them only grow in the uh daytime others grow at night I would like to see Minecraft someday maybe come out with new crops, new things to grow, but recently all we can get up to is like mushroom stew and things like that. I might go out and get mushrooms, bring back some of the dirt they grow on and make a little area where I can grow one mushroom. I'll just use that so I can create mushroom stew. And in most cases in these Minecraft worlds, I end up being the um, the farmer since 
I specialize, I build them big. I don't make small farms like a lot of people where you know you build one square little area, you got a small farm, you try to cram two, uh, f 10 blocks of wheat in there, three blocks of like sugar cane, block them for melons, just all that stuff. I try to think big, create as, as big of a farm as I can make so that way we don't die so easily. Tell now that it's starting to get late as the sun is coming to an end. You start to notice it after a while. Go ahead and really plant all this stuff in. Um, as long as you keep the water here, the soil does stay wet. If you remove the water after like a day or two in Minecraft days, it dries up and then it like turns really weird. It just turns into like. Uh, it just looks like that. It just looks like that. It's an annoying process. Looks like everything is pretty well done over there. Might just harvest the carrots. We have some going on the carrots. Uh, okay, I didn't put the I didn't put that fencing back yet. I'll do that a little bit. I simply just forget. There's a gray sheep over there. There's a kernel. Oh, well, that's kind of kind of like a really ugly blue. Oh, I'm not too sure. It's pretty gray at the moment. Okay, so everybody knows a few months ago, I used to upload videos on World of Tanks and things like that. And I think I've gone ahead and decided that I will start uploading more of them. I just want to upload them as Poisonous potato. Get out of here. That's dumb, bro. Okay, so we're gonna mine this last thing on the end here. Since mining the ends, allow me not to worry about unwanted guests coming down from the mountains. Give me something. Mine go inside and make a cake or two so that way everybody has something they can eat. Might make a cake, put it downstairs, make it look basement. Come. Now this means right here that there's gonna be thunder as it's getting dark, so there's probably gonna be thunder. Which is really, really annoying. I hate the thunder. It's mad. I need to create an underground area where I can store the crops, I can keep everything. Mm -hmm. Basically, I mean, the house itself, it sits on this one block right here, where the floor is at. This is like an empty block. It saves space and time. And now that I look at it, I don't think this will be enough. Oh, we got lucky this time. The thing about it is we don't have any torches to put on it. Okay, we can probably go and sidebar some coal from the furnaces. Uh, which we don't have any here. Wow, ooh, that's surprising. We have eight now. That I'm gonna just go, you know, I'll place one here, I'll place one over here, let's move it this way. Or this one, place it here, this one here. Continue down the line, place one there, place one there. Going, we'll place one there. There we go. Okay, so I guess since it's raining now, we'll just 
go inside, we'll look around, see where the greatest possible way to make a basement is. There's a bunch of seeds in there. There's all that stuff. There's so much in these chests. I am bad. We could just make it here. Make a small little thing that goes down this way. How far down we'd have to go. To me, there's more than what I'm bargaining for down in this hole. So, I need to have my sword handy. And I need to get some more torches out. I was hoping Edie now and then might have gone on like a run where we could get some. The farm is all giving handy downs. There's <laughs> Not really. But we'll continue to dig a little ways down here. Alright, we'll have some Marco use his unneeded things. Okay, what am I gonna do here? Welcome to the Beneath My House, everybody. This is everything that's down here, as you guys can see. And this will be the basement. I'll probably just line it with the wood on the flooring, I'm sure. So where I'm going to put most of the chest so I can keep everything down here, so that up there. say it looks pretty nice. Uh, this will definitely work out down here. So much better with wood down here now. The colors look great. Okay, so I'm gonna line this up differently. We're gonna put we're gonna So if we could probably place one under the stairwell, a biggie on that. There's a one there. Wow, it line, it shoo, lines up perfectly. Got enough chests down here, just for everybody to enjoy. Seeds, etc. Probably stack them.
got that pretty well constructed down right now. Now, the next big thing is I need to start moving it. Down there. That's a trap. Trap chest. We did it. So we'll begin by moving a food chest down here. Or no, we'll, we'll just add in seeds. You know, I have too many seeds. Everybody knows that. I want to category put everything in its own chest carrots, potatoes, basically, so I have organization. And I'll know when I need to go out and harvest a certain. certain um, Thing. Go back. Let's go see what this chest says. This is this over here was the original chest. Everything goes in. Don't. all down in there as you know seeds has it's like an unlimited supply of seeds down there okay so we'll go ahead we'll add the rest of the seeds in here we'll go back up here we'll take i think we can put all the wheat in our inventory okay this place with this oh we can officially down to Okay, so after that, now we can officially add potatoes, mm, put wheat in this one, nothing but wheat. Use this one here for carrots. This one will be for potatoes. Hmm. It kind of reminds me of potato salad. And we'll use this one way over here for pumpkins and melons. We'll put potatoes in this one. So this will be potatoes. So potatoes, carrots, wheat, seeds. So now we need to make three signs. Awesome. Six songs. Cool. Okay, so. Alright, now, start by. Let me unplug this. Oh, man. I don't think I ever get tired of hearing my phone go off when it tells me, oh, sorry, tornado watch. Ineffective for this area. Severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for this county. Thanks. I don't think I care. The moment, anyway. Maybe later. No way it could be that long.
gonna put here? Let me do this. There we go. What is this? Your nose back. All right. So, which one of you pinheads has the smallest dick in here? <laughs> Hello. I said, who has the smallest dick in here? All right, everybody. Now that God damn it, you know I was enjoying the peace and quiet. To, yeah, I was. Uh, I agree with Ray on this one. What the hell is this building um, here? Hope you enjoyed today's video. Like, subscribe, and comment. I will see you in next week's video on Minecraft with a massive and bigger...